how bile stagnation affects your body and how to improve bile flow. Bile is a greenish liquid produced in the liver. Essential for a healthy digestion, bile cleanses the body of toxins and excessive cholesterol. Bile stagnation, also known as cholestasis, is a dangerous yet common disorder. Bile buildup may cause gallstones, cholecystitis, and even cancer. Apart from that, impaired release of bile to small intestine may lead to a chronic lack of energy. This video looks at the symptoms and effects of bile stagnation. Also, we will show you some tips for promoting bile flow from the liver and gallbladder. How bile is formed and stored. Bile is largely made up of water and bile acids. It contains cholesterol, bilirubin, as well as some metals and toxins. All bile in your body is produced in the liver. The gallbladder only serves to store and concentrate bile. The liver of an adult produces between 400 and 800 milliliters of bile daily, while the gallbladder has a maximum capacity of only 60 milliliters. How bile gets into your intestine. The liver secretes bile round the clock. When food gets into your gastrointestinal tract, the liver and the gallbladder start to release bile into the duodenum through bile ducts and the major duodenal papilla. In the duodenum, bile mixes with food. Why your body needs bile? Bile performs a bunch of vital functions in your body. Here are some of them. It splits fat into smaller globules to facilitate its absorption. Without bile, the intestine is unable to absorb fat and releases it undigested. Promotes absorption of fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. Improves small intestine motility. Neutralizes stomach acid and alkalizes the food bolus, thus preventing ulcers and the duodenum. Stimulates ferments that help protein digestion. Cleanses the body of excess substances that aren't filtered by the kidneys, such as cholesterol, bilirubin, lipophilic toxins, as well as some metals, including copper, zinc, lead, magnesium, and mercury. And last but not least, bile acids kill pathogenic bacteria contained in food. What causes bile stagnation? There are two main reasons that keep bile from flowing out of the liver. Blocked bile ducts liver diseases that impair bile production. It's not uncommon that cholestasis is triggered by both of these factors. Check out diseases and health conditions that may lead to bile congestion, viral and bacterial infections, autoimmune diseases, medication intake, pregnancy, intestinal inflammation diseases, biliary dyskinesia, gallstones, biliary tract infections, mostly due to toxoplasmosis which is carried by cats. Sudden weight loss may also cause gallstones. The effects of bile stagnation. In addition to acting as a storage reservoir for bile, the gallbladder also removes excess water from it, making bile more concentrated. The longer bile remains in the gallbladder, the higher amounts of bile acids, cholesterol, and bilirubin it contains. If bile stagnates for any considerable time, there is a precipitate formed in the gallbladder called biliary sludge. It's made of cholesterol, calcium, and bilirubin crystals. These crystals form into gallstones, causing gallstone disease. Gallstones block bile ducts, making bile buildup even worse. They may also cause a strong pain in the right hypochondrium. Did you know that women are several times more likely to suffer from gallstones than men? Gallstone disease may lead to serious complications, such as gallbladder cancer, hepatitis, and pancreatic necrosis. On top of that, gallbladder disease may develop into cholecystitis, accompanied by peritonitis, gangrene, and gallbladder perforation. As you can see, bile congestion is a very dangerous disorder that should be treated immediately upon diagnosis. Did you know that the legendary king of Macedonia, Alexander the Great, died at only 34? Historians believe that his premature death was caused by acute cholecystitis. Cholestasis is an insidious disease that can remain asymptomatic for a long time. Occasionally, this condition may reveal the following symptoms. Jaundice, dark urine, pale stool, stomach aches, fatigue and tiredness, nausea, excessive itching. 
If you suspect you have bile stagnation, don't think twice before seeing a doctor. At the same time, it can hurt you to learn how to stimulate bile secretion and help bile leave the liver and gallbladder. How to improve bile flow Fatty foods Consuming healthy fats is a natural way to secure an unobstructed bile flow. To promote bile production and flow, eat the following foods. Avocado, fatty fish, such as trout, nuts, if you have gallstones, consuming too much fatty foods may trigger an acute pain on your right side. Polyunsaturated fatty acids Polysaturated fats reduce cholesterol levels and stimulate bile production in the liver. As a result, they improve bile flow and prevent cholesterol stones from forming in the gallbladder. Check out foods that are rich in polysaturated fats. Walnuts, sunflower seeds, olive, rapeseed, corn, and soybean oil. Some types of fish, including salmon, mackerel, herring, tuna, and trout. Goat milk. Drinking 200 milliliters of goat milk empties your gallbladder almost by half in just 40 minutes. Keep in mind though that goat milk has no effect on bile production. It only promotes gallbladder emptying. Onion, garlic, and celery. These three foods stimulate bile secretion in the liver. On top of that, onion and garlic have been proven to contain substances that prevent precipitate and stones in the gallbladder. Lifestyle Relieve your liver Liver does a tough job breaking down excess lactic acid in the body. Relieve your liver by avoiding foods and drinks that are rich in lactic acid, such as coffee, sugar, alcohol, highly processed foods. Drink more water as we already know, bile is mostly water. With that said, it's only natural that dehydration should slow down bile production. An adult should drink at least 2 liters of water per day. Doctors recommend drinking a glass of warm water before breakfast. Eliminate sweets and semi-finished goods. Excessive consumption of sweets and semi-finished goods may cause gallbladder conditions and bile stagnation. If you spot symptoms of cholestasis, Make sure to cut these foods from your diet and seek professional help. Avoid stress. When you're experiencing stress, cortisol, nitrogen oxide, and adrenaline are released into the bloodstream. This results in an increased load on the liver that has to excrete these hormones from the body. What's more, nitrogen oxide and cortisol are removed from the body with bile, which means that stress can cause their buildup in the liver. To help your body release toxins and balance out hormones, try to avoid stress. Do intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is all about refraining from eating for an extended period of time each day. For example, if you have breakfast at 9 a.m. and dinner at 5 p.m., you're not allowed to eat for the remaining 16 hours. In between meals, bile is actively produced by the liver and accumulated in the gallbladder. By taking a break from food, you allow bile to build up and concentrate in the gallbladder. Diaphragm breathing The liver is located slightly below the diaphragm. Since most humans nowadays have shallow breathing, the diaphragm doesn't affect the liver in any way. However, when you're breathing deeply through your abdomen, the diaphragm massages your liver and gallbladder, which stimulates bile secretion and helps remove toxins from the body. Diaphragm breathing is basically breathing through your belly. It's very easy. You simply need to expand your belly when breathing in and relax it when breathing out. Make sure your chest doesn't expand during exercise. Did you know that yogis have been practicing abdominal breathing for over 2000 years? This exercise helps to remove byproducts of metabolism that build up in the lower part of the lungs due to gravitation. What doctor to see for bile stagnation? If you've self-diagnosed symptoms of bile congestion, go see a gastroenterologist. The doctor will do a general checkup and run some liver function tests. To elaborate the diagnosis, you may also need an ultrasound, an MRI, and a liver biopsy. This content is for informational and educational purposes only. Consult with a doctor or healthcare professional before following any recommendations provided in this video. Tell us about your experience in the comments and subscribe to our channel.